everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Mathematics. In this video lecture, we come to know about number system. That is the very, very important aspect of mathematics. So, the number system should be divided into so many different, different parts. I am showing you all those different parts and later I just explain all those parts separately. So, initially a number system means we know the real number system that is denoted by capital R. This real number system usually divided into rational number and irrational number. But here I have divided it into two parts that is integer number and fractional number. So integer number and fractional number that also can be divided into some subparts. So these subparts are integer number can be subdivided into positive integer 0 and the negative integer. Whereas the fractional number can be divided as terminating and non-terminating. So at first we emphasize on the integer number. In the integer number we divide it into positive, negative and zero. If this positive number only we consider positive number these are called the natural number. And if we take this positive number included with the zero then it is called the whole number. And negative number definitely the opposite of the positive number. These are all the negative number. Again, if we divide the fractional number, then it should be divided as terminating and non-terminating fractions. We know the fractions are like 0 0.32, 0 0.755, 0 0.732, anything. These all are the fractional numbers. So among these fractional numbers, we divide this entire fractional number into two parts. One is the terminating fractional number. Another one is the non-terminating fractional number. Again, non-terminating fractional number can be divided into two parts. One is the repetitive. Another one is the non-repetitive. What are those repetitive, non-repetitive that I will explain just after a while. But before that, just let me tell you that this Natural number, whole number, negative number, terminating number, not only that, this repetitive fractional number, all are consisting of the rational number. And only the non-repetating fractional numbers are the part of irrational number. So how these rational numbers and these irrational numbers will be created, that I will explain now. So at first, just tell me, if I say that, tell me the numbers. So what numbers are coming in your mind initially? Definitely it is 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. So these are called the natural number. 1, 2, 3, 4 in this way up to infinity. Infinity means there is no end of the numbers. After 5 it is 6, after 7 it is 8. After any number you can give me, I can give you one next number after that. So all entire this number is the part of natural number. In natural number 0 is not included. So this is the natural number. If we include 0 with this natural number then it becomes the whole number. So using this whole number we have the different type of numbers. So these numbers we can say even number, odd number, prime number, composite number. We can heard about all those numbers. But just still, again I am telling you what is those numbers. So first of all, even number. Even numbers are those which are divisible by 2. That means it is 0, 2, 4, 6 and all. So that we can say the smallest even number is 0. Similarly, odd numbers are those numbers which are not divisible by 2. And the smallest odd number we can say it is 1. Next it is the prime number. Prime number are those numbers which have exactly two factors, not more than two, not less than two. So, if we consider two, then its factors are one and two, three, its factors are one and three, that means the number itself and one. These are the two only factors of any number, then the number is a prime number, otherwise it is not a prime number. So that here the prime number 4, what we can say about the number 1, is 1 a prime number? Definitely no, 1 is not a prime number because 1 have only one factor, not two factors. So that 1 is not a prime number. 
Next, it is the composite number. In many books, you will find out that the composite numbers are those which are not prime, but exactly not so. Composite numbers means the numbers which have at least three factors. Composite numbers are those numbers which have at least three factors. So that if we consider the number four, so then four have three factors. These are one, two, four. If we consider six, then it have the factors one, two, three, six. That means the number which is divisible by all those numbers. So similarly, nine, its factors are one, three, nine, etc. In this way, so any number which have at least three factors are the composite number. So from here, can we tell me what is the minimum composite number? Yes, it is the 4. The smallest composite number is 4 because 1 is not a composite number, 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number and 4 is the first composite number so that it is the smallest number. Next question is, can you tell me what is the minimum odd composite number? Minimum odd composite number? If you can, then just write it in, write the answer in the comment box, if you can. And I hope definitely you can understand and you can find out the answer. What is the minimum composite number, which is an odd number? Is it clear, I think? So now, next it is the negative integer. Initially, we have the natural number, then whole number. After that, with this natural number, the 1, it's opposite or composite is the minus 1. Then 2, its counter is the minus 2. So, this minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, all those, these are the part of the integer number and these are called the negative integer. And if we combine all those, that means the positive number as well as the negative number and 0, if we merge all those numbers, then it forms the set of integers and that is denoted by z so that we will find out z is nothing but the composition of the whole number and the negative integer and definitely natural number is the positive integer we can see so that the set z the integer set z consists of all those numbers from minus infinity to plus infinity but remember all these numbers are whole numbers so, I am just telling you whole numbers. That means there is a concept of fraction also. And these fractions are definitely lies within this set and within these numbers. So, next we discuss about the fractional numbers. Now, fractional number means the number which can be expressed in the decimal form. We have lots of numbers where we will find out the numbers of the type point. 5.25 point some point anything that means a number if you require to express with the point that means the decimal then these are all the part of fractional number so these fractional numbers are again of different type we can say these types are the terminating fractions and non-terminating fractions so what is this terminating fraction and the non-terminating fraction so terminating fraction means where it is the end of the decimal. That means if we have a number 1 upon 2, then its value is 0.5. After 0.5 there is nothing, so that we can say this is a terminating fraction. Likewise 3 by 4. So 3 by 4 is again a terminating fraction because its valuation is 0.75. Similarly, any number, if you will find out that if we convert any fraction into the decimal format and this decimal format have the terminating values, that means the digit after decimals are defined, then it is called the terminating fraction. But there are so many fractions where after decimal there are infinite of numbers. So that if we consider this number, suppose 0.333 and it is continuing infinity time. So this type of terminating fractions. So now, Non-terminating fractions are again two types. One is the repetitive and another one is the non-repetitive. So now for the repetitive and non-repetitive, what are those? So repetitive fractions for, just let me explain with some example. Suppose we have a number 1 upon 3. So look, it is a fraction and if we convert it into the decimal, then its value is 0 0.3333 and it is un for infinity. And if we write in this this one in this format 0.3 bar. 
This is the repetitive non-terminating fraction. Similarly, if we have 2 upon 3, then its value is 0 0.6666 and it is can be expressed as 0 0.6 bar. Similarly, if we consider 1 upon 11, then it can be expressed in this way. If we consider 3 by uh, 7 by 30, then it can be expressed like this one. So, these all are infinite fractions. That means non-terminating fractions but the repetitive value repetitive means the after fractions whatever the values we will find out all are repeated Re that means they follow a pattern depending upon that pattern we just write them in this way so that this bar denote that where the repetition that we will understand here the three repeated infinite times here six repeated infinite times here 0, 09 repeated in finite time means 0, 09 0, 09 0, 09 in this way it will continue here th only upon 3 it is the bar so that point 2 after that 3 is repeated in finite times that means it is point 2 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 in this way now one thing this type of numbers are the repetitive non terminating fractions it is very true i have given the fractional format that means p by q form of all those numbers if these numbers are directly given, then can you convert it to the fractions? That means in this way, in the fractional format, can you convert it? If you know, then it is quite well. If you don't know, then I am just giving you a touch just to remember because these are the basics mathematics you can learn probably in your class 6, 7, 8. So I am just giving you a touch. Suppose the number is 0 0.3333, that can be written 0 0.3 bar. So, if you want to convert it to the fractional form, then its process is, you just write whatever the number upon bar is there, that you should write. And after that, you write how many times, that means here, usually if the decimal after one value is there, we write 10. But decimal after one number is there with bar, that means instead of 10, we should write here 9. So, this one is its fraction. If we simplify, then we will find out it is 1 upon 3. Similarly, if it is 0 0.6 bar, then we should write it 6 upon 9. For 1 bar, it is 9. And if you simplify, you will find out it is 2 upon 3. If it is 1 by 11, that means if it is 0 0.09, then it should be written here under bar, there are 0 and 9. And for two numbers are there in the bar, so that for each number 1, 9 should be there. So it is 9 upon 99. If you simplify, you will find out it is 1 upon 11. Now, if it is 7 by 30, so this number can be re represent in this way. And if we want to convert it into the fractional form, then for that, what we will do? We just write here 2, 3 is given. So 2, 3 as it is. After that, only upon 3 there is a bar. So that for 3, it should be 9. After that, 2 is a number which is a number where no bars are given. So for that number, we should put 0. After that, we subtract with that. Only in 23 width, we subtract a number which is, that means the number which is having no bar. That means just if we off this number, then the remaining number is 2 where no bar is given. That means this is not a repetitive number. That's why we just minus off this one. So that if we simplify, then we will find out it is 21 upon 90. So this one, if you simplify, then you will find out it is 7 upon 30. So in this way, this repetitive non-terminating numbers can be converted into the fractions. Just let me tell you, if any number is given where few numbers without bar and few numbers with bar, then whatever the number you have, you just write it down. After that, subtract with that the numbers which have no bar. Then divide it by the number 9, that means 9, that much time you should write how many times you will find out a number with bar. And the numbers which are with non-bar, that number for you should substitute 0. And after that, you simplify and you will get the repetitive fractions. So, in this way, we will find out these fractions. Now, the non-repetitive numbers. So, non-repetitive numbers means the number of type 0.173205.08 and it is continuing up to infinity. And it is basically the value of root 3. So, if you just simplify root 3 value, then you will find out this decimal number where no parity is there. You can't predict that the what is the next to 3, what is the next to 8. You can't predict, you have to calculate. 
and this numbers definitely you can't express in the form of p by q p by q means where something um, denominator numerator form if you can express so that you can't so that this is a non repetitive number similarly if we consider root 2 its value is 1.414213567 and it is continuing so we don't know what is the end and where is the end so that we can't express it in the exact factor likewise pi pi is a very important number we have lots of time face this value pi and pi value usually we substitute 3.14 otherwise 22 by 7 so but what is this pi this one is a non repetitive fraction so this fractions can't be expressed in the form of p by q but you can say that pi can be expressed 22 by 7 but 22 by 7 is not the exact number it is just the approximate number of pi and you know what is the reason to find out this number of pi the value of pi 22 by 7 is actually in ancient era where when there are the very uh, limited resources that time to shift one thing from another thing we uh, should give the lots of efforts but if we just they have invented a cart with a tire tire means that time this tire is not a round shape but it is almost a round shape so with that there are lots of jerkings and all so they can't understand that time that how this uh, becomes smooth and it becomes less tidy so that they have uh, after a long research and inspection they have invented that if we have taken a line whatever be the length of this line and if we take the three times of that length and little bit more than in fact that then with using that if we draw a circle that means we create the perimeter with three times of the diameter then we will find out that it is almost a circle so that value is coming that this uh, perimeter is three times than the diameter and little bit more if it is then it becomes the perfect uh, circle that's why they have approximated this perimeter and the diameter ratio as 22 by 7 then they will find out it is a perfect circle so on that way they have invented this value and this value is the pi they have denoted this value by the pi and its value is approximated as 22 by 7 anything any round shape you can uh, find out and you just measure its perimeter and the diameter and you will find out its ratio is almost 22 by 7 but it is not exactly 22 by 7 that's why it is non repetitive number and you know there is a pi day also in our world and this pi day is celebrated on 14th of march and its reason you know its reason is the value of pi it is 3.143 stands for the month and 14th stands for the date it is 3.14 so 14th of march is the pi day in the uh, world so it is the international pi day hope you enjoy a lot this uh, history of pi anyways so the repetitive and non repetitive numbers are there see this non repetitive numbers are nothing but the irrational numbers and rest whatever this repetitive numbers and the integers and all these all are the part of the rational number so anyways i am just again summarizing this entire number system so this is our number system actually complex number is again a number and the real number is a part of complex number and there are some non complex number that is non real numbers are also there any complex number means it can be expressed as x plus iy so if this iy term that is i is zero then it becomes the real number so except this real numbers whatever the numbers can be expressed in this way these all are the part of non real number or these are the complex numbers so real numbers are also the part of complex number and this real number can be separated into two parts that is a rational number and irrational number i hope you have a quite clear conception that what is the rational number and what is the irrational number and once again i can say that the number which can express in the form of p by q that means which can be expressed in the fractional form so you can ask me that integers are the fractions yes integers are also fractions if the number is 2 that you can write as 2 by 1 so that is in the p by q format 
So any integer you can express in this p by q format. Any fractions are definitely that means any decimal numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q. These all are the part of rational number, and which cannot express in the form of p by q. These are not the rational number. These are the irrational numbers. So this entire number system we can express in the set theoretic concept. So set theory we will discuss or we just reveal in our next video. But before that, if this entire system, entire number system, we want to combine in a figure or in a picture, then I can say suppose this one is a big home and this is for the complex number and its uh, sub part or it have a sub uh, subspace that space having for the real number so this one is the entire complex number if it is then real number is the part of complex number which is completely embedded on the complex number and this real number again divided into two parts one is the rational and another one is the irrational definitely the numbers which are rational number these are not irrational numbers and irrational numbers are never be the rational number so we can divide this entire thing into two separate Uh, entities so this is we can say irrational number and this one is the rational number or we can say q so this rational number again subdivided into two parts so two parts means here this uh, irrational number is a part of the fraction non terminating fractions and non terminating fractions are of two types so i can say that this fraction this one if i say this is the fractional number so this fractional numbers can be divided into three way one is the terminating fractions that means of the point 5 this type these are the non terminating fractions which are of this type and these are the numbers which are like root 3 root 5 of this type so if this type of numbers you have then this is the irrational number and these are the part of rational number so entire this entity is the part of rational number now if we separate the fraction and the integer part then this is the fractional part and the remaining is the integer part integer part again separated into three ways you can see here we just separated these are we can say the 1 2 3 the, that means the positive integer positive integer and these are the minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so these are we can say the negative integer and the zero is also a integer which is neither positive nor negative so this entire number system we can write in this way and this definitely this one is the natural number this one only this part is the natural number this is the number using including this one then it is the whole number so in this way we can entirely draw the diagram for the number system so i hope you can understand the entire number system that one is a very very important topic hope you understand and enjoy the video have a nice day on our next lecture we go for the set theory and the other topics which are related to number system that is number system where it is required in fact number system required in any aspect of mathematics so enjoy a lot have a nice day thank you stay home stay safe